All right, guys, today I'm going to show you the Baofeng, the Baofeng, I don't know, UV5R handheld radio. And tell you why I'm so excited about this radio. First, the price, the price is phenomenal. I mean, you're talking like 25, 30 bucks. I think I got a pair of them for like $35. So anyway, <laughs> this thing will do uh, VHF, UHF, uh, it'll go in the, in the, uh, the sheriff's department frequencies, state police frequencies. It goes everywhere you need it to be, transmit and receive. It'll also do FM radio. Now, I found the battery life to be pretty good. I've got a couple hours of actually hard use uh, out of these, these little batteries. Um, I've been able to program the frequencies for everything I needed to, to do so far. Uh, it has more uh, features than you're going to need. It does the CTCSS, it does, the, it does all the sidebands, it does everything that you're going to want. And you can just program the frequencies right in the front. Now, a lot of the radios, the Kenwoods and things like that, you have to buy and you have to uh, special programming cables and you have to go through you know, a bunch of pain. This one, you can just do it right from the, right from the very front. Now, the, the thing that I'm most excited about probably are the accessories. So it comes with a charging base and all that, but the things are really cheap to buy, like this whip antenna. I haven't tested the range that it's gonna give me, but my experience on whip antennas, uh, that they really dramatically increase the range. It's like three or four dollars to get the whip antenna. So battery life when you're traveling in a car and you want the battery to last a really long time, instead of just leaving it plugged up to a charger, we've got this battery back that goes into your car. So you remove the back of it. Just by pushing down here and pulling that. That's the battery right there. I just remove the battery. I plug this thing in, slide it up in there. This goes into the cigarette lighter plug. And now you've got a forever battery <laughs> going on for this little radio. Uh, that with the whip antenna, and they make another antenna that will screw onto here and go on the outside of your car. And it makes it even better. So you have even better range. Now you're not gonna have walking dead range. Let's just, let's just get that out there. The, the radios that they use on the walking dead, they don't exist. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> in a world without repeaters and without um, other things to help assist your radio go on, you're not going to get that kind of range. Nobody gets that kind of range on anything. So anyway, so let's talk about what you do get. What you do get is five watts, five watts of power from this thing. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to you. Five watts, whoop de doo Your cell phone maximum allowed to put out is half a watt, 0.5 of a watt. This thing is 10 times as powerful as your cell phone. So we've tested this and we've got four miles in real world. Now these family band radios that they talk about that, uh, you know, oh, you, two miles and they can line up. No, no you're not going to get that out of a family band radio unless you're in a perfect area. And some of you guys may be getting that, but where I live in the mountains of West Virginia, you don't get that. Now I'm going to talk about what came with my radio. My radio came with the radio. The battery it came with a really nice cradle charger and an adapter and in the 30 some dollar range uh, I don't know you know for for my Kenwoods I can't buy a, a cable to go to the adapter for that I mean it's it's just it's absolutely ridiculous and I have found that this I know I all right bring the hate I'm ready I'm ready this is comparable quality to my Kenwood I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, the, the sound quality, the transmission quality, the programmability in this is comparable. Now, here's something you have to watch out for, and you need to do your research, because this will transmit on frequencies that you're not allowed to transmit on. Without special licenses from the FCC, and some of these you can't get because they're law enforcement channels and emergency services channel, this will transmit and receive on those frequencies. So you need to do some research on what you can and can't transmit on. Some of the family band frequencies are really, really good. Uh, some of the extended families and the GMFR, whatever they're called, I'll, I don't know. I'll put some stuff down in the description for you. They're good and they require very minimal licensing 
the family brand the band channels you can use for free without any licensing really but there are some that you need to fill out a little bit of paperwork for them and they're not a big deal uh, and these will transmit on those so you need to do some pay it's a little bit of a uh, Google searching to find out what frequencies you can legally transmit on but when you find a frequency that nobody else is on in your area these things are the bomb <laughs> they've got the uh, the mic and the speaker and it puts on the side and I haven't tried it yet but I'm pretty sure that's a standard Kenwood input right there and uh, they're everywhere they're everywhere and you can, you can get the headsets and you can get the uh, lapel microphones and things like that for them and these things are, are prevalent so anyway my verdict on this guy right here is a definite yes and this is this is a great radio for the price you can't beat it now you know i've been critical on a lot of stuff on wish before and i've said some really nasty things about some of the products that i've gotten off wish this is not one of them this is worth the money uh, this is not a ripoff this is the real deal